Hi, this is Charlie. Let's just take a moment to get used to working at the SSH terminal in <coughs> Code Anywhere. So, for a second here, I'm going to close the terminal. Then I'm going to come over here. Here's my dev box, and I've created one node in my dev box. And inside of there, I have four folders. So, I'm going to click on my dev box, and I'm going to open up the SSH terminal, right? So you can close the terminal, you can right click, you can open it right here, right? And then inside of here, I'm going to type LS. And that gives me a listing of the four folders. As you can see, here's my four folders here. Here's another way to see the four folders. I can also get a long listing with a dash L. That gives me a long listing of those folders. <coughs> Alternatively, um, I can do ls dash la which doesn't tell me very much but it does show me the hidden files which in this case is simply the current directory single dot and the directory one beneath it which is um, with two dots um, if I type pwd I can print the working directory see which directory I'm in which is the workspace as you can also see right here it shows me the current directory but it doesn't show me the path unless I type pwd and it shows me the path to that I have a home directory which I can reach by typing CD and with no parameters to it. And that takes me to my home directory which you can see now instead of showing workspace or anything it simply says I'm in the home directory. I can type PWD and learn a little bit more about that. There's my home directory. Um, if I want I can do a long listing here and I can see some configuration files, uh, NPM is a programming tool, SSH is how we do our secure connections and attempt directory, and my workspace directory. I can get back into my working space directory by typing CD workspace, or if that seems like a lot of typing, I can just type CD W, and since there's only one folder or directory that begins with a W, I can just press tab now, and it prints out the rest of it for me. Now I've back in my workspace directory. Um, if I do an LSLA here, I can see what folders are available to me. And I'll go into the ISIT Calvert directory, and I'll now type PWD, and you can see which folder I'm in. If I do an LSLA in here, you can see two things. One, you can see I have a Git folder in here, so that tells me that I'm in a Git repository, because it says .git when I do ls-la. If I just do ls, I don't, or even ls-l, I don't see that hidden folder. But if I do ls-la, I can see that I'm now in my Git repository. And then if I want to see the contents of one of the files, I can type cat, and then I typed in r, e, just a couple of the letters, and then press tab, and now I can see the content of my readme.md file. I could also come up here, double click on it, and double click on README, and then it shows up here, and I can see also the same content that I saw by typing cat to catalog it. I could add text here and um, save my work by pressing Control S, and then down here I can um, rerun my cat command and now you can see the new text that I've added in here. Um, if I add a carriage return line feed up here and then do cat readme, then maybe it makes a little more sense. That's all I want to show you, just some basics about navigating inside of the SSH terminal when you're on um, code anywhere. Thank you very much.